in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. At this Mass, let us remember especially our Archbishop that the good Lord will continue to sustain him, continue to be with him in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, let us acknowledge ourselves and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who raise up St. Ignatius of Loyola, in your church to further the greater glory of your name grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven we make a prayer to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and rests with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tables of the covenant in his hands. Tables that were written on both sides. On the one side and on the other were they written. And the tables were the work of God. And the writing was the writing of God. Graven upon the tables. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, it is not the sound of shouting for victory or the sound of the cry of defeat but the sound of singing that I hear. And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burned hot and he threw the tables out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it with fire and ground it to powder and scattered it upon the water and made the sons of Israel drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did these people do to you that you have brought a great sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know the people that they are set on evil for they said to me, Make us gods who shall go before us. As for this, Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what, he has, what has become of him. And I said to them, Let anyone who have gold take it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and there came out this calf. The next day, Moses said to the people, You have seen a great sin, 
And now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sins. So Moses returned to the Lord and said, Alas, these people have sinned a great sin. They have made for themselves gold, gods of gold. But now, if you will forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I beg you, out of your book which you have written. But the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. But now, go. Lead the people to the place of which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angels shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. The word of the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They fashioned the calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that is grass. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. They forgot the God who was their savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonders in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For this he said he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the bridge before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia. 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 Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits for him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, another parable Jesus puts before the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come, and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. All this Jesus said to the, to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate today the memorial of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Saint Ignatius of Loyola was a Spanish priest and theologian. 
co-founded the Jesuit order. St. Ignatius founded the Jesuit order in the year 1534. And the order is known for works of missionary, educational, and charity. This order is one of the leading congregations that have brought about the modernization in the Catholic Church today. What did this man teach? St. Ignatius of Loyola teaches us, dear friends, he taught that the spiritual life is founded on freedom. St. Ignatius of Loyola tells us that our desires, those things that we desire, can either pre prevent us from serving God or could help us to serve God better. Now, what are these desires? You know, as human beings, it is very, very okay to desire to be healthy, isn't it? Every normal human being desires health. And that is why we are often told that health is wealth. Every normal human being desires riches, isn't it? Some persons desire riches. I'm not talking about the uh, evangelical poverty here. People desire riches to poverty. People desire fame and honor in the society. These are normal desires of a human being. And so St. Ignatius will teach us that these desires are very okay. But these desires can prevent us from serving God or could help us to serve God better. What is health if we cannot use it to serve God? If somebody who is healthy only brags about his, his, his health but does not use his energetic nature to serve God and to serve his neighbor. St. Ignatius will tell us, you need to drop such a desire. Because such a desire does not make you to fulfill the purpose for which God has created, created you. What is the, the purpose? We all know from our penny catechism that God made us to know him, to love him, to serve him, and to be with him in the next, isn't it? That is the purpose for which God has created us. And so those things, numerous things we desire, if we cannot use them to serve God, so St. Ignatius will tell us to drop them. If we desire riches, if we desire wealth, and we do not use this wealth to serve God and to serve our neighbors, St. Ignatius will tell us, keep them away. Such desires are only going to prevent you from fulfilling the purpose for which God has created us. How about those who desire fame and honor in the society? How about those who desire public offices? Do we use them to serve God and to serve the society? Or do we use this fame and honor to oppress the common masses? St. Ignatius will tell us, if we desire such, such things only to oppress people and to brag about them, then he tells us to drop such desires. St. Ignatius finally will tell us that God has created us and given us freedom. But true freedom is to surrender to God. True freedom is when we allow God's will to always prevail in our lives. That is true freedom. True, true freedom is not to use our desires to oppress people. But true freedom is to surrender to God. And so, dear friends in Christ, let us emulate this great man, our spiritual father, a theologian, and a teacher in the church. Let us ask for his wonderful intercession, that God should help us to purify our desires. If our desires are not to, to use, to, to, to please him and to serve our neighbors, let him, let him purify our desires and help us to put our desires into practice in serving him sincerely and serving our neighbors through Christ our Lord. Peace be with you. Oh, oh, oh.
you that sacrifice and worship to God Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate Saint Ignatius, he pleasing the Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the font of our holiness may sanctify us too in the truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is solely right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give it thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as the festival of St. Ignatius, the band of church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as with that end we acclaim. Indeed, holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make we therefore for this gift we pray by setting our spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when it was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we part for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer a Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are held us to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope Ignatius, our Archbishop, and Semis Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Augustine, Saint Joseph Marello, Saint Peter and Paul, Saint Ignatius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. The Lord of our sins by the faith of a church, and gracious to grant her peace and unity of her kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer before Holy Communion, prayer for help. O oh Lord, help me to make a good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear angel guardian, lead me to the altar of God. sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving 
be every moment by me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all our thanksgiving be every moment by me. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, so that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we come in our trials, and having asked the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently ask your patronage also, to that sacred bond of charity, which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the fatherly love, with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. O most provident guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Most beloved Father, despite the evil of falsehood and sin, our most mighty protector, Graciously assist us from heaven in our struggle with the powers of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of our enemies and from all adversity. Shield each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, to die a holy death and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph our protector, Saint Augustine, Saint Joseph Marello, Saint Ignatius, bless Cyprian Iwinitansi. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty with that end through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a happy and a blessed day ahead.